Well, a couple of days ago on Easter Sunday, I had an opportunity to see a special concert by Andrea Bocelli live from Milan, Italy's Duomo Cathedral. I wonder if you had a chance to see it yourself. If not, I, I could recommend it to you. You should go on YouTube and check it out. I would show it to you, but I don't think copyright would allow me to do that. But it was a, it was a wonderful concert, and at the end of it, uh, Bocelli, one of the world's most renowned tenors, made his way outside of the Duomo Cathedral into the square, a place that would normally be teeming with tourists and worshipers on, on an Easter Sunday, and yet was eerily empty and quiet. And he gave a very beautiful rendition of the well-known hymn, probably the most well-known hymn in all the world, Amazing Grace. And it was very interesting and moving to see a man who is himself blind sing the lyrics, I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. He sang those two or three times for emphasis. And of course, uh, in that particular song, the reference is not to physical blindness, but to spiritual blindness. And it's good to remind ourselves that this song was written by John Newton, who would become a very famous theologian whose works are still consulted today, but was earlier in his life a slave trader and a notorious one at that. By his own admission, he lived a life of profanity and debauchery. He was the worst sort of person. And so he appreciated perhaps more than most people do what God saved him from. He had a miraculous conversion and became a preacher of the gospel and was actually later in his career instrumental in the effort to ban the slave trade all around the world. So here's a, here's a man who understood what it meant to be at one time blind and then being given his sight. And of course we speak of this in the spiritual realm and it's very important that we understand this. You know, we've been doing this gospel series over the last few weeks and we'll be doing it for a couple of more weeks. And this is an opportunity for us to acquaint ourselves better with the gospel so that we can be more effective in evangelism. And one of the things that you'll observe in evangelism, if you if you do it, is that you'll find that people who are outside of Christ are in fact spiritually blind. And this can be quite a source of frustration for us when we try to share the gospel. People who are otherwise intelligent, people who seem like they might actually be understanding, they might, they might get the gospel, and yet they have blinders on that doesn't that doesn't allow them to be able to see clearly either the poverty of their own spiritual condition or the solution in Jesus Christ. And again, it can be uh, dumbfounding for us at times when we're sharing the gospel. We think this person seems to understand at, at an intellectual level, it's all there and yet they simply don't, don't see it. And the fact of the matter is, is that it is a work of the Holy Spirit that removes the blinders from a person and allows them to see both what is the condition into which they have been born. We've all been born blind. Bocelli lost his sight at the age of 12, but all of us have been born blind in original sin. And so until those blinders are taken off, we cannot appreciate the gravity of our own situation. We cannot appreciate the solution that is Jesus Christ and his grace and mercy poured out upon us. So it's helpful for us to understand as we do evangelism that unless and until the Holy Spirit of God gets a hold of a person and does a radical transformation in their heart and opens their eyes, they will never be able to see the beauty of the gospel. But when he does do that, what a wonderful thing it is, something that we can all celebrate, something that we should all be singing on a regular basis in our own hearts. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me, I once was lost and now I'm found, was blind, but now, I'm, now I see. Let's encourage ourselves with those words today.